there's a case to be made that Freeform is the quintessential iPad app that really lets the iPad shine. Hey, it's Chris. Freeform just got a brand new feature called Scenes, which in my opinion makes this app a thousand times better. I think that Scenes, which you actually see right here, actually turns this app into the app that I think everyone wanted it to be in the first place. You can basically think of Scenes as a map to help you navigate around your freeform boards. The plan for today is to demo several creative uses for scenes to help you supercharge your workflow. But first, let me let you know, my new course called Pro iPhone Video Essentials is up for pre-order and it'll help you go from shooting straight out of the box iPhone footage that looks and sounds really ordinary and plain like this to shooting professional looking and sounding video using nothing but an iPhone that looks just like this. So check it out, it's linked up down below. And if you pre-order today, you're gonna get my Learning to Be Productive course 100% for free instantly. All right, before we get to the creative uses, you gotta understand scenes in the first place. So let's spend 30 seconds and just break it down. Scenes came with the latest version of iPadOS, so I'm using the public beta right now. And I'm gonna click on this icon next to the zoom level in the bottom left, which is gonna open up my scene panel. I've got a menu and some arrows here. If I tap the menu, I'm gonna get a list of all the scenes in this board. You can see there's a lot. And then as I tap an arrow left or right, it's gonna help me navigate through those scenes. Basically, a scene is just a way to save and navigate specific views within your board, which helps to facilitate movement and enhances organization. So I don't have to manually scroll around or zoom in and out to find stuff on my board. I can have pre-programmed scenes that'll just take me right to specific bookmarks. So scenes create movement. They're not just for moving around, they also work for zoom level. So you can set a specific place and zoom as a scene or a bookmark. For you productivity people out there, whether you took my productivity course or not, one of the best things about scenes is that they will help you focus because they'll get rid of any distractions that you have and let you just see what you need to see. So what you can do with scenes are create them, you can rename them, and you can also rearrange them. So the scenes are created and managed through this menu icon here, and if I tap it, you're gonna see that I can manipulate these scenes. I can hit edit and I can grab a scene and rearrange its order there. And I can also hit the delete icon next to a scene to get rid of it. I also wanna drop a quick scenes tip here, which is that if you tap the three dots up in the top left corner, you can either print your scenes or export your scenes as a PDF, which is also really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So if I go to files where I save that and open that PDF, and make this a little bit bigger here, it almost looks kind of like a presentation, doesn't it? So here I can just flip through all my different scenes really easily, and again, I could just print this out if I wanted to, so really powerful. Now I did something kind of cool here. I created a template for scenes that gives me this kind of note card-like look here with different sections where I can make a header and some lines that I can write on. And those are all pre-programmed as different scenes to zoom into. And then I copied and pasted those and I made several. And then I went to each of them and created a scene. And what I can do is go back to my freeform boards and then long press on that and duplicate it. And then like you see here, start filling that in. And all the scenes are already set up and ready to go before I ever even write anything. All right, so let's talk about some of these creative modes and use cases. I like to think of the first mode as teleportation mode because it saves me time, it reduces hassle, and I don't have to endlessly scroll. Pretty basic, that's what you've been seeing in this video so far. So if I have an absolutely enormous board with lots of text, with lots of highlights, with lots of pictures, and maybe I don't remember where all the good parts of this board are, well, I can create some scenes to help me navigate around and it's gonna instantly zoom me around this board. It's like teleportation. But there's another way that I really like to use scenes and it's precision mode. And I kind of think of this as zoom levels that let me go from seeing a broad overview of something to dialing in to the little details. So for instance, I put together this example for a book that I've been getting into lately called Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Didn't expect to like this book so much. It's actually really interesting. Part of what makes this book so interesting is the main character. His name's Darrow. So this is kind of a top level analysis of Darrow. He's a visionary leader who sees beyond societal hierarchies. Good, that's a very succinct top level overview, but what if I wanna drill in and know a little bit more about Daryl? Well, I've set up some scenes that kind of dive into these details and they don't move around the board as much as they zoom into the board, this particular screen. So the next scene takes me to this description of Red Rising the book. The next takes me to more details about Darrow. The next one zooms down to the bottom. And if I zoom that back out, you'll see where that zoomed into and you can kind of get an idea of how that zoom process worked, which leads me to something else that I really love about scenes, which is it's a great way to just recenter your screen quickly. Like if I zoom in here and I wanna come back out and perfectly line up where I was, you know, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but if I'm zoomed in down here and I just 
zoom back out like this, it recenters everything for me and I'm back to work. When you reach the end of a cycle of scenes, then it's gonna start back over when you hit that right arrow and go back to your first scene. So when I'm using zoom levels, what I like to do is use a tool like the pencil, grab that, and there's sort of five thicknesses here for how bold that ink is gonna be. And so when I'm at 50%, then I'll use that biggest, boldest ink. And then for these super zoom ins, I'm using the smallest, the lightest ink. So at this point, we've learned that scenes is about movement. So you can move around a board, you can move into and out of a board, but there's another sort of movement that I think is really interesting. And that is kind of moving through a narrative or a presentation if you want. So let's say you're gonna put together a story, you're putting together the outline, maybe a script, for a documentary that you're working on, you can set up the scenes to maybe walk through a pitch to some investors and just kind of go through the different scenes that you have planned. Some information that needs to be presented in a certain order. So it's chronological and your scenes make it very easy for you to go through that. And actually you can see in the top right corner, I'm recording my screen right now with audio. So what a cool tool to be able to illustrate what you're thinking and save the chronology as you present that and then you could go and publish this on the internet or send it in an email. And I should mention, this is a video on Freeform. I do actually have a course on Freeform to help you go way beyond the basics. Freeform really can be a more powerful app than most people realize. I'll link that up for you down below too. But let's talk about what I like to think of as clarity mode. So this is if you need to focus on one particular thing at a time and you need to have other information available but not visible. For instance, if you're trying to learn something and you want kind of a quiz scenario. Here's some questions, some quiz questions about SpaceX. Well, here's the question. I can do another scene to see the answer. And I can even illustrate that and see a visual that I can get into and mess around with as well. So here you can see I've got several scenes set up, several questions and answers. And I can go in there, by the way, and name those too. So I could say, you know, Starship question, Mars question, whatever it is. So let's say I wanna quiz myself and here's the first one. I guess I get it right, that's what it looks like. And you can see I've just laid these out in kind of a grid-like pattern and I used Freeform's tools which let you group things or put an even amount of space in between them to lay this out. And then I just zoomed in to the questions and answered all the way to 400% kind of got it centered and created a scene for each question and answer. And honestly, this whole process probably took me something like three minutes or less. Now I wanna bring you back and take a look at my Life Planner Freeform board, which I discussed how to set up and all the intricate details of it in my Freeform course. But this is a perfect example of just how powerful and useful and easy to use Freeform can be for organizing your entire life. With scenes, I feel like you literally could organize your personal life, your work life, your hobbies, your fitness tracking, everything that you could possibly imagine, your reading notes. I mean, you could put all of that in here, replace a ton of different apps, and then have your scenes navigate you around your entire life. So it's like God mode in free form. But let's make this main screen a scene real quick, just so you can see what that looks like. And then let's say I need to work on my projects, okay? I can zoom in a little bit, add a scene for that. If I need to zoom in on my most important reminders, I could do that. If I need to just see my idea inbox and whatever it is that's rattling around in my brain, let's have easy access to that. And then if I want my daily review to be very accessible as well, I'll add a scene for that. And now as I shuffle through these, uh, you can see just how cool and how useful this actually is is. So drop me some comments. I definitely want to see, are you using Freeform or using it on the iPad? What are you using it for? And what are you going to use scenes for in particular? Honestly, this is one of my most used apps and I love how it keeps getting better. It's completely free. It works across all my different devices. Again, you can use it for so many more things than most people realize. It just requires some imagination. If you want some help, in that imagination department, check out my Freeform course, Freeform Unleashed, linked up down below, along with the pre-order for the new course, Pro iPhone Video Essentials. Don't forget, if you pre-order today, you'll get learning to be productive for free instantly. So check it out, and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.